Let's talk Turkey, Gemini. This is for the sign of Gemini, the twins. Mercury is direct in Libra, affecting your fifth house of children and creative projects until the 2nd of November when the winged messenger is poised to ingress into the sign of Scorpio, having sway over your sixth house of habits and health regimens, Gemini. The 20th of November sees the ingress of Mercury into the sign of Sagittarius, which will influence your seventh house of law and commitment. Mercury remains direct all month long. Therefore, any miscommunication problems are more easily cleared up this Thanksgiving season. Now, let's see how your ruling planet of Mercury affects you this month, Gemini. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. Your air guardian angel, Raphael, speaks through to you from your Gemini zodiac angel, Ambriel. And this is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Gemini zodiac angel, Ambriel, who resides over the twins' mutable air nature, and these are his messages for you in love, money, and health. First, Ambriel's love transmission, your zodiac angel who teaches you, Ambriel, and your guardian angel, the divine physician, Raphael, who watches over you, and who you can petition for favor and protection and healing. The new moon is on the 11th of November in the sign of Scorpio. This occurrence affects your sixth house of disciplines and health routines, regimens or daily routines. This new moon will cause you to keep your personal schedule secretive while you focus on self-healing and introspection. Thus, your romantic interests could fall by the wayside and your family could feel cut out of the loop during this particular lunar phase. In reality, your family, friends, spouse, and loved ones want you to focus on your own personal therapeutic routines. The full moon on the 25th of November, in your sign of Gemini, you're going to feel, of course, in your first house. So this happening will influence how you appear to others and how you want to present yourself, because again, full moon on the 25th of November in your sign, Gemini. Again, affecting your first house. The bright moon is in your sign affecting uh, the way you think, and it might cause you to overthink emotional situations, as well as personal illumination that you're trying to accomplish. So overthinking, overthinking, how can I become more illuminated? How how can I become more enlightened? How can I make my emotional relationships work better for me? How can I get people to behave in the way I want them to behave? How can I be more important to other people? How can I get more attention from people and make sure that it's the kind of attention I want? You'll be overthinking. And so this is going to cause you to overthink your own motives, really, in love, romance, and friendship. So again, you'll be overthinking your own motives. And why am I doing this? And just remember, we're all the same. We all are slaves to the physical body that we've been, that our spirit has been put into. We're all a slave of the body, which is just a will to receive for the sake of the self. So we have to, we're going to receive, and that's all the body wants to do. So what do we do? We have to share. That's why we break bread and we share. That's why. It's the only way through the difficulty of ultimate selfishness, which is the revelation of evil, which is the revelation means apocalypse in Greek. Greek means apocalypse in, uh, excuse me, apocalypse means revelation. Apocalypse is Greek, revelation is English. That's what it means. It's just the revelation of our own inner evil. That's it. Now, making money from marketing, uh, pandering to both kids and the creative projects of adults, gives way to financial pain uh, if, you, if you be careful. Uh, you should be careful here because you might find that finances become a bit of a problem uh, until the Mercury ingress into the sign of Scorpio on the 2nd. So that's not too long to be worried about it. It's just... It's just, you know, for the first part of November. 
And that will bring in the dough after that from sales techniques aimed at the fitness and health industry. So after the second, you can alleviate financial pain by investing from the second on into the fitness industries and the health industries and sales technique derived from that. Now, that's, that's, why, that's until the 20th. Now, after the 20th of the month, Mercury and Gross Sagittarius allows Gemini economic advancement in more long-term projects that require obligation. Mercury is direct this month, and so should you be direct when it comes to your money. If Gemini feels misunderstood or your communication has been remiss, then this is the time the twins should take advantage of and begin to clear things up with people you might have difficult relationships with because again business and money are about relationships and relationships are about communication so thinking that oh I don't care I'm not here to make friends I'm just here to make money that makes people sound important and and makes people think oh you must really be serious you must be uh, you know but in reality if that were true Nobody would make any money or or do well at all because actually all business transactions are about a relationship. So I'm getting into Umbriel's, Umbriel's health transmission. This is especially the forte of the divine physician, the planetary archangel Gabriel, who um, excuse me, Raphael, who also rules over all the air signs now. Sometimes, and this, this is true, sometimes Gabriel and Raphael change places when it comes to the Kabbalah, the Rosicrucian Kabbalah. Sometimes you'll find Gabriel in the Sefer of Hod, and sometimes you'll find Gabriel in the Sefer of Yesod. Yesod is where you, we usually place that some watery lunar aspect, and sometimes Raphael will be in Hod or Yesod. So that sometimes... These two angels are known to traverse that quite, you know, a lot, the path between Yisod and Hod, because they, and that this is also why sometimes some of the, the realms of fire, water, air, and earth are king, queen, prince, princess, these worlds in Kabbalah, in Rosicrucian Kabbalah, uh, whether it's emotions or the mind that you're dealing with, uh, sometimes becomes a question. So some, sometimes there's some overlap in some of these areas. Okay, so getting back to your health transmission, we're going to give you a Taoist technique that's also in Rosicrucian Kabbalah to give you an inner smile. You can get these in, in some an- more ancient books like the Sefer Yetzirah and the, book, the books of some of the more ancient books, the Lost Books of Moses has a lot of uh, these types of... of uh, recommendations, which of course were gotten from Egypt, which can be found in the, in the uh, Pert M. Haru and those kind of things. Anyway, uh, Gemini does well regarding health this month to balance the first chakra from the second of the month of November until the 19th of the month with focus on balancing and healing of the reproductive system and the organs of the lower abdomen. Beware STDs this month since the astrological events could make Gemini susceptible to such infections. Mercury Direct will help communication between the systems of the body, making healing easier. From the 20th of the month on, Gemini's healing should center upon the entire second chakra and the hips. Beware sciatica, bruises, and sprains during the month of November. Okay, so uh, just be cautious of the health in these areas this month, uh, Gemini. Uh, no matter what kind of situations you're, you're having, even spousal situations, you want to just be aware of some of these issues. Now, regarding this month's planetary formula from Rosicrucian Kabbalah, November 24th, Eastern Standard Time, to November 25th, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, uh, excuse me, this, if you're using Eastern Standard Time, it's November 24th. If you're using Greenwich Mean Time, it's November 25th. Okay, 2015. The the formula here is Mercury direct in Sagittarius conjunct Saturn direct in Sagittarius gives you 
an equation of you will be perceived as both being direct and congruent with your desires, and your follow-through will be greatly appreciated. So that, that's, that day will be good for that. And regarding the alchemy and that we're going to help you with now and some of the health uh, issues and all these issues, high, just be aware that high magic and alchemy can be very dangerous. So this is for entertainment purposes. All right, now, regarding your wanting to create the inner smile, you want to utilize the three cauldrons of the body, which have central nervous system tissue in the brain, the heart, and the lower abdomen. They call it the belly. It's the lower abdomen, the second chakra. You want to, these are real things that can be found with the scalpel. You want to, you want to basically make these areas receptive to happiness. And this is a way to do that, a Taoist technique called the inner smile. And what you want to do is you want to enliven the the brain, which is shin, the Hebrew letter shin, the Hebrew mother letter shin, which is fire, and then aleph in the chest, the Hebrew mother letter aleph, which is air, and in the lower abdomen and the belly, we have the Hebrew mother letter mem, which is water. And in in some of our presentations later on throughout, you know, the rest of this year and on into 2016, we're going to be giving you um, a technique after this one, which is a more advanced technique, where you take the fire of shin and you bring it down below the cauldron uh, of water, mem, and you heat it up and that causes steam. You can move these mother letters around, obviously. All right, so you can move uh, yod heh vav -He around. You can move uh, the shin, aleph, mem around. And this, this is how you come up with the merkaba and how you come up with different genetics. It's how the different... Uh, it's the you know male and female are created. It's also how uh, different uh, races are created. All right. And we, if you want a class in Mer Merkaba, we are experts on Merkaba. We have our own techniques that we've developed, and you can we've gotten from Creator who kind of tapped us on the shoulder and gave us some of these techniques. So uh, we're happy to teach a class on that. We have some very good classes starting. All right now. Regarding this technique, you want to put a big smile, a serene nirvana, sort of bodhisattva or uh, Maitreya Buddha smile, serenity in the lower abdomen, and you want to have all the cells of your body smile simultaneously. There we go. And, it, and then we have Aleph, air in the chest, to smile and have all the cells of the body Smile simultaneously, and then in the brain, you want to smile and have all the cells in the body smile simultaneously, all at once. All right, so that will put you in a very meditative nirvana state, which puts you sort of at the level of the vegetative state. And if you go further, you can get into the being in the state of a rock. But right now, this is the vegetative state. All right. It takes you lower, not higher. Uh, the ego takes you higher. The meditative states take you lower and more to more and more humble levels. All right. Thank you for joining us, Gemini. And Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel, join us again next month.